All right, so let's talk about the story for why when we are dividing five divided by two thirds, we multiply by the reciprocal. Like how, where does that rule come from? All right, so let's start by drawing five. Let's just start by drawing five. So there's my tape and there's my five. And the idea of five divided by two thirds is saying how many two thirds live inside the five. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that five and I'm gonna cut it into thirds. All right, so there it is. I've cut it up into thirds. And incidentally, I now have 15 thirds because each of the five whole numbers got cut up into three pieces. So I now have 15 thirds. Then, because I'm wondering how many two thirds live inside the five, I'm going to circle groups of two. So there's a two thirds, there is a two thirds, and there is a two thirds, and there is a two thirds. Now some of these two thirds bridges the one hole, like that right here. It's kind of bridging across the one hole, but that's okay, it's still a two thirds, and there's another two thirds, and there's another two thirds. And now the idea is, what is this piece left over? So we know we have seven, but the question is, what the heck is this little piece left over? And a lot of people want to call that a third because these were all thirds originally, weren't they? Uh, but that's not the right answer. It's actually uh, a half. This is actually a half. So our answer is seven and a half. Now, why is that seven and a half? Well, because we're circling groups of two. And because we're circling groups of two, this last piece right here is one out of two. And so the answer is seven and a half. Okay, so that's how we use the picture to uh, understand how to get the answer. Now let's use that same picture, this same picture up here, to understand why the rule is multiplied by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna go to the next page and let's just do that same stinking problem again. So we're gonna do five divided by two thirds again. Same story, but I'm gonna do some our notation just a little bit different. So let's start by drawing my five holes. So there's my hot five holes and I'm trying to figure out how many two thirds fit into this five. So what's the first thing I'm gonna do? I'm going to cut everything into thirds because I wanna know how many two thirds are living inside five. So I, first thing I have to do is I have to cut everything into thirds. Now, if I were to cut count all of these, how many am I going to have? I'm gonna have 15. So that's basically, that's five times three, isn't it? Five times three gives me 15. I had five holes and each hole got cut up into three pieces. So five times three is 15. Now I'm going to circle groups of two. Why am I circling groups of two? Because I'm dividing by two thirds. So I'm gonna circle groups of two. Now folks, this, is, this goes back to fourth grade. Anytime you're circling groups of two, that's the same thing as divide by two. So uh, there's, my, there's my multiply by the reciprocal. So what are we doing? We, first, we have to multiply by three. Why? Because that gives you the total number of thirds and then we have to divide by two because we're trying to find two thirds, how many two thirds there are. And so all of a sudden we now have the answer, which is, well, five times three is 15 pieces all together, 15 thirds all together. And then we have to divide by two because out of those 15 pieces, we wanna know how many groups of two we have. And so the answer is seven and a half. So it's the exact same problem as my original example right here. But here we were just really thinking concretely. But here we're taking that concrete experience and we're sort of turning it into the algorithm. So let's do, uh, let's do 18 divided by, uh, let's do 18 divided by 3 fourths. Okay, now 
I don't want to draw 18. So I'm going to simulate the fact that I'm drawing 18. I'm just going to kind of pretend that I'm drawing 18. So we're going to pretend, woo bam, there's 18. So these dots are saying plus some happened in the middle. All right. So we have some whole numbers and then some happens in the middle and then we end. All right. So now if we want to find how many three fourths lives inside 18, what are we going to do? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do 18 times four because that's going to tell us how many fourths there are all together. So how many fourths are there all together? And well, since there were 18 holes and each hole gets cut up into four pieces, so it's 18 times four. And then because we're trying to find how many three fourths, we're gonna circle groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And what does that mean? Well, that means we're dividing by three. And all of a sudden, we now see the multiply by the reciprocal idea. And if we want to get the actual answer, we can, we can do that. Well, we're going to do 18 times 4. That's 72. So that means all together, there's going to be 17, uh, 72 fourths all together. There's 72 fourths all together. But we're going to divide by 3 because I want to know how many three-fourths, how many groups of three we have. And 72 divided by three, in this case, I don't know, it's a 24. All right, so there's our answer, 24. Okay, so now, last example, I promise. So let's do a funky one. Let's do something like five-fourths, no, let's make it 15-fourths, 15-fourths divided by uh, three-fifths, I guess. I don't know. That's good enough. Fifteen-fourths divided by three-fifths. So what, what would we do? So we're going to go into abstract mode here. We know that the first thing we would do is we would draw a tape that represents fifteen-fourths. So I'm just going to pretend because I don't know how the heck to draw fifteen-fourths right now. I'm not, I'm not going to bother with it. But I know I'm going to take that fifteen-fourths and I know I'm going to multiply by 5 because that's going to tell us how many fifths there are in this entire tape diagram right here. So the first thing I know is I'm going to multiply by 5 because that's going to tell me how many fifths we have all together. And then I'm going to divide by 3 because I need to circle groups of three-fifths. So there's three-fifths, there's three-fifths, there's three-fifths. And so um, I'm going to divide by three. So that's why I've got times by five. That gives me the total number of fifths. And then I need to divide by three because that's going to tell me how many groups of three-fifths I have. And there is my answer. So the what would that look like? I don't know, it'd be 75 over 12 and then get the, you know, simplify. <laughs> You're, you, you now, th there's your answer, 75 divided by 12. All right, and that is the story that you can tell for how, I'm gonna go back to here, so how, uh, how to explain the idea that we are, that first number stays the same, the operation turns to multiplication from division to multiplication, and then that second fraction essentially turns into its reciprocal and why that makes sense.